Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Martin, and I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Kwan, who is from the Samsung Medical Center in Seoul, Korea. And Dr. Kwan is going to talk to us about the Excellent Trial. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. What's the Excellent Trial? The yeah, Excellent Trial is tested uh, the hypothesis that the six months duration of clopidogrel therapy is non-inferior to 12 months duration of clopidogrel therapy. As you know, current guidelines uh, recommend to at least the 12 months duration of clopidogrel therapy if the patient is not at high right. risk of bleeding, but based on no prospective randomized control trial. So we tested the shorter duration of clopidogrel therapy, maybe as safe as the uh, the current guideline is a 12-month duration. Well, I mean, it sounds like it's an it's a excellent question and yeah. to mm -hmm. take a parody on words, but what did you find? What did you find in the trial? So our primary endpoint was a target vest failure defined as a cardiac death, MI, or the target vest revascularization. And uh, we found that the uh, non-inferiority of okay. six months was uh, highly significant uh, compared to 12 months, and the uh, target vest target vest failure rate at one, one year was 4.4% uh, in a 12 months group and 4.7%, 7 7% in a six month group. So, so no difference. Do you, do you think, the, uh, obviously, obviously we can go into different populations, but do you think this is gonna change the way we practice? Sounds like it to me if the findings hold up. Uh, actually, uh, we did the test the heart endpoints like uh, death, MI, or stent thrombosis. Okay. So, uh, and uh, so we tested just soft endpoints, so we, maybe we need to wait to uh, the larger clinical trials. Until then, the, we found that in highly high-risk uh, patient subgroup like diabetics, the diabetics yeah. or the, 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 the risk was higher in the six-month group. And uh, specifically, this study is also randomized to uh, the Everolimus diluting stent versus okay. serolimus, serolimus diluting stent. And we found that in Everolimus diluting stent group, the non-inferiority was also significant. So maybe in low risk patients right. and non-diabetics, uh, particularly uh, uh, implanted with a second generation DES, maybe we can safely uh, discontinue the clopidogrel at about six months if a patient is at the high risk of bleeding. So we have uh, some uh, weak evidence, some evidence for the discontinuation. No, it's, I mean, it's, it sounds uh, very, very interesting. I think the, the finding on the diabetics is also interesting, but yeah. thanks for an excellent trial yeah. um, and for a good discussion. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.